Hi, this is Mindy Benini, and welcome to this tutorial on PeerMark by Turnitin. PeerMark is a tool that allows your students to conduct online peer review entirely through OAKS, aka Desire to Learn. It uses a question style rubric to facilitate the peer evaluation and handles the distribution of the assignments for you. It is a multi-step process and we'll go over each of the steps in that process. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at creating the holding tank to allow students to submit their initial assignments for peer review. Here we are inside Desire to Learn. You might notice that I'm in content, which is a little bit different when we're looking at assignments, especially using Turnitin style products. But these have to be done in content because students don't have access to the assignment tool in order to grade. So we're going to begin inside content and I've created a module here. I'm going to choose Add Existing Activities, and as I scroll down, you'll see PeerMark Turn It In. Let's give this a title. You can put any instructions here that you want. Now, you may think you want to click Enable PeerMark. However, at this point in the process, you do not want to click Enable PeerMark. As we come to the right hand side, you'll see a grade. Now this grade is if you, the instructor, are choosing to grade this paper. Most of the time when you're doing peer review, the process is that the students do peer review of one another. Then after changes are made, they turn it in for their final grade. So at this point, I'm not gonna put a max grade here for this paper. Again, this grade is not for the peer review. It is for the initial paper that was turned in to be reviewed. The start date is the date and time that I want them to be able to start submitting an assignment. And the due date is the date and time that I want them to stop being able to submit the assignment, just like a normal turn it in assignment would be. Your feedback release date, this is the date and time when the students can be begin reviewing the comments that you have left on their paper. My preference is that you make this the same date and time as your due date. If I choose optional settings, you'll notice that these are all of the same settings that you're used to seeing within Turnitin. So feel free to make these changes. Because it is peer review, I would choose to not store the submitted paper. That's just my preference. And then you can go through and handle this in any way that you normally would for your turning in assignments. All right, so at this point, I've given it a name, a start date, an end date, and a feedback date, which is the same as my due date. I have not clicked Enable Peer Mark, and I'm gonna choose Submit. What this has done is created an assignment that my students can now come in and use to turn in their initial copies of the assignment that will be peer reviewed. Let's take a look at this from the student perspective. The students will go to content and here's the assignment. When they click on it, they're given the opportunity to upload their initial submission. We'll browse for the file and then choose upload and review and submit to turn it in. That's all the student will do in step one. If we go back to the instructor's view and choose peer review of final paper, you'll notice that you can see the students that have submitted and uploaded these papers. And that's the conclusion of step one. 